hello everyone so today we are gonna draw with using the markers and render this beautiful hat or cottage whatever you call it with uh, flower trees covering it and so beautiful and I have shared with you the complete step from the pencil sketch to this last highlighting of it uh, so you can just play the video and grab your pencil and page and I'm sure you can make it you don't have to use the same uh, color or the tones I've used just use any neutral tone of markers or paint you have and you will get a beautiful sketch in the end hope you will enjoy it thank you for now but subscribe my channel thank you so much so we want to draw this out this beautiful door Let's handle over here. Okay. Now it's lentil and beam. It has big stone building. So we're gonna draw this big big stones on the lentil. So there it is. Now let's make this little passage on the front of the door, the steps, one more step, now some planters. That's it. Okay, we also gonna go draw some because it's all stone building. So we gonna go and draw some stones right here. It's so amazing that these stones over here, big and small, whatever stones. It's a beautiful piece of architecture. Start from wherever you want. It's all stones. I'm just marking out so I can color accordingly. And then you basically mark out and then properly later with a pen. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we gonna first draw out our plant. For that we need first we need some light green shade. So I'm gonna go use the spectrum green. It's a very beautiful green shade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this basic tree shape just very basic so we have to add flowers later so i'm just feeling uh, leaving the gaps between these green areas so we can add flowers later just mark out some leaves more maybe a little more on the bottom and also we did not we're also going to add some these over here some over here and yes for this tree i'm going to use this wide area of the marker and just gonna add some green shade over here that we have pointed out our tree okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little different shade of green maybe a little fresh green that's a vivid green shade now we're gonna also just giving the highlight of our leaves don't go in so much details we want to add little details later with our drawing pen the fine liner so just little bit of leaves over here over there just giving out the highlight that's a beauty of these 
beautiful sketchbook urban drawings yeah, I don't have to give more details with marker just giving the highlights beautiful highlights and it will do the work okay this was the vivid green shade now we gonna first add flowers and flowers over here then oh i missed that there was also a tree i should draw so we will add colors to that i'm gonna go draw these flowers pink so for pink i'm also using some lay light and some dark shade of pink maybe let's start drawing with first pale pink pale pink is the light shade of pink see we're gonna add little flower over here just random a bunch of flowers over here some bunch over here just random draw out the base for the flowers then i will add a little highlight dark pink shade on top of it so it can show the depth of the leaves beautiful leaves beautiful flower I personally just love these pink flowers it's covering the house so it gives so beautiful effect oh my god I'm already loving this beautiful old hut okay the light color has done its work now we're gonna use the dark pink shade let me try it first which color do we want no that's too pink okay uh, i think this gonna go yes this is good it's vivid pink so we have used the pale green and the vivid green and now we are gonna use the pale green or pale pink and some vivid pink just keep tapping this pink color i think something is missing i think i need just another shade of pink that will do the work so let's do use this deep olive green marker so we can add a little depth over here yes the notch look good and just doing the shade of the big plant above okay not over here as the uh, more the sunlight grabbing area just where we can see that the shadow more shadow area so there we will add this pink color because i'm adding a little bit of pink over here it's uh, pur purple like little bit of purple just to give a little bit okay that's it now what we want to do is we have to cover our plant so for this I'm using this beautiful green this tree above just covering okay i'm also adding this green over here it's basically pale green okay now some uh this is the vivid green yes some vivid green show some highlight of the tree it's dark areas okay yes some olive deep yellow 
over here. Just putting some of the lovely yellow leaves over here a little bit. And some over here. Mm. So add these yellow flowers over here. Some yellow over here. Some red flowers maybe and some mixed orange I will also add yes so a little bit of orange that's it our plants are done now we're gonna do our door Okay, now for door, I'm using this uh, cinnamon color. Okay, so we're gonna give them a little shadow kind of feeling on the door. Maybe here, I think I need a little more dark brown shade to do that mm -hmm. this the plant has its shadow on the door this plant has shadow falling on the door also this side thick wall has also its shadow okay, there we go also not that beautiful little yes that's it this more first of the day we will add later okay now we're gonna add this beautiful window color Now what we're gonna do is we gonna color our beautiful you know first we have to shade the roof that is that's it and maybe the shadow okay so now we're gonna do is we have to color these stones so we'll use we're gonna use very light shades very light shades okay we have some shades over here so we're gonna use them let's first use the lighter one so this one is hmm. Primrose, primrose. It's a little yellow. Let's see what shade is here. Yes, I like it. First, we're gonna give some stones different, different shades. We want it to be really complete, to look beautiful. This may be the blue. Um, okay. Oh yeah, we didn't color our stem of the leaf. Okay, we're gonna continue coloring our. Okay, we're gonna use some vanilla color. You can also go for the warm tones gray warm tones if you like i'm gonna use these beautiful light shades the pro markers natural neutral shades because every stone is different from the other so we are just gonna a mm, little mixture of shades over here. If you mix this almond, mix. Let's use this almond shade. Mm, I 
think this is a little dark, stripe, it's too dark. I'm not gonna use it. And if I think it's too dark, just I will two or three stones. That's it. It's getting a little dark color. Okay. Next we have this cream color. Let's try this out. Yes, it's also looking nice. And again. shadow depth with it because it's a little dark in value so it's gonna give us beautiful a little shadowy and depth for our stairs uh, our building stand out a little bit The more you give, the more time you use the color, the darker it will get. My first layer, second layer, I have just like here I applied 7 or 8 layers, there we I applied 4 or 5 layers. So you can play with markers, it's so much fun and gradually you will get hold of them. It will get a little difficult in the start. Gradually, you will get beautiful, beautiful. Okay, this is warm gray. I'm gonna use for a little. Yeah. Stone is already just popping out using this beautiful warm gray. So I have to add this shadow. Yeah, I'll get the good shadow here. The roof shadow. See how beautiful it's coming out into the shadow over here. A little bit shade over here, some depth over here inside the plants. Some depth over here. Hmm, here. Okay, now we're gonna take our white also mess right over here it's very difficult to find color over here okay so yeah, have a little bit of drama over here now we're gonna use our fine liner to draw some beautiful lines to do Okay, a little bit of details that give a drawing light. Now it's looking like a painting. Now we are gonna go the look, give it a look of an architectural painting by using this beautiful fine liner of ours. be an architect so you have to give it a touch of architectural sketching i'm gonna add a beautiful strokes of these fine liner this is my favorite part when i use this fine liner for the details really like it Just so you can add details wherever you want. There is a branch if you want to 
be hooking out of the plant you can add it just add some leaves details some random over here and there and there is I thought yes okay now we are gonna give this glass grass and some flowers little detail So hope you are enjoying this beautiful piece. Some little detail over here. Okay, we have to get this part a shadow. So what color we should use for our shadow? I would also like to giving it a sky blue. But I'm saying I'm gonna give it a detail. how the details work okay now this is the plan and we have to give it a little shadow like it's falling over here a little shadow tree is giving over here and this brown shadow here Shade over here. We also added this shade before. Just here. Okay, that's it. We are done with our drawing. You can also add some leaves fall. Obviously, when they are plants, there will also be some leaves. Uh, fell from the plant that's a drama get some extra detailing you can add as many details as you want to this beautiful drawing you can also add sky some random near things but i mostly what i do is i just take this warm and shaded color and I just just like I don't want to get details new details and now just make it yours so uh, it's so much so right now over here material i hope you're gonna like this beautiful sketch we made together hope you will try it and enjoy making it as i enjoyed it this day i don't know why i'm loving making these beautiful miniature sketches i have always loved miniature drawing sketching but after you joining the architectural school that miniature thing has left as we have to draw manually see this big big size they have give us uh, the manual uh, measurement of the drawing on the scale the major the major scale so we have to draw it on the exact scale so it's sometimes small when it's small i'm very good at it but when it's big we ha we are prepared for it we have learned it but i still love small small buildings so hope you loved it please share your comment your feedback i am also gonna share some more of them because these days i'm just learning to do this work okay bye bye for now and please show some love and subscribe my channel bye